new Dollar Tree haul for you guys today. Hi guys, and thank you so much for watching my videos. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Please consider hitting that like, subscribe, and notification bell so you never miss an episode. So I am super excited. I do have a Dollar Tree haul for you guys. Lots of new items have been floating into the Dollar Tree. So you have not checked out any of my Dollar Tree shop with me. So don't worry, I will link them at the end of this video and pin them in the comments. Tons of new items floated in. I didn't pick up everything. I picked up quite a bit, but not everything. And there's maybe some items in those Dollar Tree shop with me that you would be possibly interested in. So I'll link those at the end of the video and I will pin them in the comments. So without further ado, let's get into it. If you entered for that amazing subscriber gift, it was pretty awesome. I can't thank my subscribers enough for giving you guys items for these amazing subscriber gifts. You guys have made them so awesome this this month. They've been amazing. Um, I will announce the winner somewhere in this video, and then I have something extra special planned for you guys, and you'll see a sneak peek of that soon. So let's get into it. Okay, so I'm just gonna grab this bag I have here. I see Harley in here. So if you see a Yorkie with no clothes on, that is Miss Harley Davidson. Lady has her clothes on. Um, Harley, I had to put her a little flea treatment in. So that usually gets in, I don't wanna put clothes on and they have the flea treatment and then I can wash her. So she's due for her bath. She don't know it. I think she kind of does know it because when she's naked, she's just like, uh oh, that means mama's gonna give me a bath or I'm gonna get changed. And since I have not changed her in a day, I think we're on day two, I can change her, bathe her tomorrow because the medicine will be soaked into her skin. And then um, I'll bathe her tomorrow and she'll be all pretty and I'll put, I don't know, I'm thinking of putting a spring dress on her, but it's still kind of chilly. Okay, sorry, didn't mean to go into so much explanation about Miss Harley Girl. So speaking of Harley Girl, I did find them the Kind Bare Bones. Um, these are 100% rawhide free, highly digestible in chicken. These are the chicken wraps. And I thought they might like these. Harley is not usually a fan as much as Lady, but I have to give them one each, even though Lady will end up eating both because Lady's a little piglet. I don't know. I feel like Lady thinks like she's never going to get a meal or something. Harley's, a, look at, she's right there. She's a little bit more pickier than Lady. We'll see. Lady, Harley. <laughs> Lady, want a cookie? Who wants a cookie? Oh, there's Lady. Lady's wearing her little pink um, Valentine's Day shirt. Harley, I'm trying to open it. Mama's trying. I should have not called them before. And if you hear noise in the background, that is Miss Daisy Fuente. She's our blue and gold macaw. And she's just like, where's my love? Where's my attention? Where's my cookie? Okay, so we'll try it. Here's Harley's. And Lady... Okay, they're out. Hopefully, they'll be good. Okay, so I got them those. Comes in a four pack. They'll eat these in a couple of days. They'll be gone if I remember to give it to them. Um, they did have some Easter decor out. So I bought a couple of things because I'm going to switch out from Valentine's Day, which I'm super sad about. I would love to leave this out all year because I love Valentine's. I love the colors so much. But I am kind of excited to put out a lot of my Easter decor. So I did buy um, two of these. One of them, my good friend Dorothy wanted one. So I grabbed one for her. These are so stinking cute. I don't know if I'm going to, you can hang it. I was thinking this would be really, really cute on a wreath as well, but I don't do wreaths, but I would think this would be so stinking cute on a wreath, but I um, love it. It says, welcome to our patch. It is plastic. It's super cute though. And I'm thinking maybe I'll put it somewhere up there. I don't know yet. I'm not going to hang it. I don't think you can, but these are so cute. So I ended up grabbing two, one for me, one for Dorothy. Because I am going to take that down in a second. And then I got this one, which is like an uh, oldie but goodie. This one is Cottontail Farms Bunny Trail Farm Fresh Daily Fruit, Herbs, and Veggies Easter Market. They had something similar at the 99 as well. But I went ahead and picked it up here at the Dollar Tree because the Dollar Tree is only $1.25 and the 99 was $1.29. So, and what do you guys think about Dollar Tree increasing their prices yet again? And we're getting plus in, which is kind of like a double-edged sword. I'm excited to see all the plus items, but I don't know how it's going to work out. You think everything's going to be like 
So then, uh, is it going to end up like the 99 or Daiso in Japan where everything's $1.75 on less smart? Like the 99, everything is over 99. I don't, you rarely find a 99 cent item. So I'm a little bummed, but it is what it is. You know, times are getting tough and things are getting a lot more expensive. Okay, I grabbed this and I thought this one would be the one Dorothy wanted because I thought it was really cute. So I don't know. I, I got to look back on my text messages. If not, I'll keep it because I think it's that cute and I'll grab the one she wants. But this is so cute. You are some bunny special and I love it for $1.25. I think this is a great piece. It's also really well made and it does not look like a Dollar Tree item. First of all, look at how big it is. I love the little beads at the top. I love the little bunny tails and I love the writing. I think this would be also cute on a wreath as well. If I knew how to make them, this would be super cute on that too. So I grabbed that. I grabbed it for her, but I don't know if she wants it. These are a staple in my house. I do have nails guys and I love these because they have the little indentation right here and it's just easier to scrub things with. These are the nail guard sponges and I always, always grab these. Hand shape protects nails. It's multi-purpose and it's durable. I go through these quite a bit because I use them not only in the kitchen, the bathrooms, other places I need to scrub down, the wash, um, to the, the boarding at the edge of the walls baseboards <laughs> so I use those for that too as well whenever I have time I usually do pick a room do that room and then the next day pick another room so I usually go room by room and then it's like a big circle going back and forth and I keep buying these and I realize I never put these out so I bought another one so I guess my husband has two and I have two I love the way the new car scent smells by the little trees I also like the black one as well black ice but this this one smells really really good and it lasts a long time so I grabbed another one and these are for my previous haul and I forgot that I did that so that's okay I have spares I use them quite a bit usually switch them out every couple weeks or whatever every so often um, another staple in my house is the nature's corner country chicken stew dog food this is always great to have and it's so expensive like at the pet store dog food is so expensive even walmart i mean some places you can find them on sales but not that often and this lasts me a long time i just like having spares because my dogs they get their normal food but i like to put this like as a topper and i found that the toppers that they sell like at petco or wherever you go get your pet food from um it's expensive so this is like their little topper i just use like maybe two tablespoons and with the regular food and that's their topper so and they do warm up their i know they're spoiled they're super super spoiled another item that i saw and i grabbed four because i don't know i don't think this is going to match my skin tone but if it did then i'm super excited if it didn't, then I'm kind of bummed. I might put it in a subscriber gift. I don't know because it's really difficult when Dollar Tree offers like powders and um, concealers and stuff. I would love to grab them for you guys, but I don't know everybody's skin tone. And then it's just like, if I send it to you and you're lighter or darker than me, it might not work. So these are the CoverGirl Clean Pressed Powder. Um, it's in 130 Classic Beige. Look at that comes with a puff in the back and I'm going to open one because I'm curious if this is going to be something that I can blend possibly that'll be blendable. Um, I normally use a brush, but I'm going to use the puff just to see if I can maybe work with it. Um, CoverGirl is a great brand. We all know it's sold at drugstores, at Target, Walmart, CVS, all those stores. So it does look a little light. It does come with a mirror and a puff and it is too light <laughs> so this would be oh guys it has a scent to it i couldn't be able i couldn't use this on my skin stuff that has a scent to it usually irritates my skin so this is probably a no-go for me um as you blend it does look i'm scared to put it on my skin so i'm not going to do that but i blended it really well so you can't really tell but Let's see if I break out in a rash by the end of this video. Love the color. Love the um, packaging on this. Really nice. So I grabbed four. Thought that was a great deal. Not bad. Um, I am a huge fan of Fabuloso. And I used to love, I love the lemon scent. That's like one of my favorite scents, but it does not last. And one of you guys, I think it was Lisa. She said, try the purple one. And I 
tell you guys I had a purple one in my stock and I was just like, I'm gonna try it, see what she's talking about. I can still smell it in my house. So I am hooked on the purple. Thank you for that suggestion. Yes, this stuff is amazing. This is the lavender scent. So if you guys want something that's going to last and like still, um, you can still smell it after a couple days, try the lavender. I used it. I have pets, you guys know that. And I can still smell it. It's not as small, as strong as day one and two, but day three, I can still slightly smell it. And I love the smell of this. So I grabbed another one just to have. And if I see it again, I'm grabbing more because I think this is amazing for a buck 25. I'm sure I can find it at, you know, another place cheaper, but I'm not the type of person, if I'm there and I see it, I'm going to grab it because I don't know when I'm going to go back to Walmart or when I'm going to go back to Target or if I'm going to have time to get in that line and pay for it. So I just grabbed it because the line was pretty empty and it was there. So this one is 16.5 fluid ounces, a buck 25. I didn't think that was bad. I know it's probably cheaper someplace else and I'm kicking myself for paying that, but that's okay. Um, next thing I found was the Sukin signature cleansing hand wash this one's paraben free it's infused with jojoba avocado and rosehip oils to gently cleanse leaving skin feeling nourished now i tried the shampoo and i love it it kind of reminds me of um like if you go to a spa like glen ivy and um, after you get done with your day at the spa they usually have showers and a lot of times they provide the shampoo and conditioner that's what it smells like to me. Um, the shampoo. I haven't smelled this one. Yeah, it smells like it. So that's why I picked it up because I have a ton of hand wash, but I want to try this. I love, love that shampoo and conditioner. The shampoo. I have not tried the conditioner. They only had the shampoo. I grabbed two of them. I should have grabbed more. I'm like kicking myself because I really like the results. It left my hair. It, it didn't feel like strawy. It left it really soft and I was able to, um, you know, style as usual and it just feels a lot and I don't wash my hair that often. So I really need a shampoo that's going to strip out all the dirt and product, but still leave my hair feeling good. I hate shampoo that strips everything. And then you're like, oh my gosh, my hair feels like straw. I hate that. And then if you are like me and you have like a different textured hair, it's very difficult sometimes to find a good shampoo. So that one works really well. If you see it, it's a definite pickup. I'm going to try this. Um, the shampoo did not irritate my scalp, did not irritate my skin. So I'm going to definitely try this and see how this does. I'm pretty sure it's going to be perfect for me. So grab that. And that that is everything in this bag. Let me grab another bag and we will continue. So the next thing I found, and I was super duper excited to find these because I've seen them on Facebook and I was like, oh my gosh, that's a great deal. I didn't know you get 15 little bottles of water, guys, for a buck 25. This is the Silver Falls Purified Water. It's 15, 10 fluid ounces of water bottles. Now I know they're the little ones and I'm fine with that because my mother-in-law actually prefers the little bottles rather than the big bottles. And I prefer it too, because I always find the big bottles all over the house, half drink. <laughs> she does that all the time. It drives me crazy. So I end up using it for the dogs because my dogs don't drink tap water. They drink bottled water. And, um, I use it for my plants and stuff. But other than that, I'm just like, you just wasted a whole bottle of water. Are you going to drink this? And she's like, no, I don't want it. And I'm like, Okay, you know, so these are perfect because she'll drink the whole thing and I don't have to worry about it. So I ended up buying two. They only had two left. I ended up grabbing these for buck twenty-five, which I think is an amazing deal. Um, normally I get the big ones at Costco, but they're so heavy. <laughs> they're super heavy, and I just I I don't go to Costco that often. I love Costco. It's just mine is so busy because it has a gas station too, so it's super duper busy. Anytime you go, it doesn't matter if it's morning, noon, or night, even right now in the morning when everybody's at work, there's still a ton of people there. They say Tuesday and Wednesday is the best day to go. So maybe I'll go, um, one Tuesday and see how it is. Cause I always say like, I was looking at Costco tips and they said Tuesdays are the best day to go during the day. Like it's supposedly supposed to be really empty and that's when they stock Monday night and it should be fully stocked. So I haven't tested that theory, but maybe I will one day. Okay. So. I grabbed that and I definitely, before we continue, want to announce the winner of last week's amazing subscriber prizes. Now, if you guys are not entering for these subscriber gifts, I highly recommend you do. It's always super easy and you may win an amazing prize. So with that being said, let's go ahead and announce that winner. So before we announce the winner of last week's amazing subscriber gift winner, I definitely wanted to give you a sneak peek into this week's subscriber prize. So if you don't win, you're not too bummed. We have some pretty amazing prizes 
is here up for grabs. Also, I definitely wanted to remind you, you have a little bit of time to enter to win on my Dollar Tree shop with me. In that video, we found some amazing finds. As well, there's an amazing subscriber gift in that video. So check that video out. That one includes a Michael, no, I'm sorry, a coach bracelet and i will link that at the end of the video and pin it in the comments and don't forget to check out my 100k subscriber appreciation gift for you guys 1200 dollars worth of amazing prizes in that video and i'll link those two at the end of the video let's go ahead and announce that winner congratulations to a melissa salvez 7078 you are the winner of that amazing subscriber gift please email me so i can get your package out to you as soon as possible guys, please congratulate Melissa on winning that amazing prize. Let's go ahead and continue. So please congratulate last week's winner. They did win an amazing prize. And if you saw this week's subscriber gift, you know it's equally amazing. It's Barbie themed. I, I am so excited about this one. I love Barbie. She's always been like my go-to when I was a kid. Like I loved playing with Barbies and I love dressing up Barbies and I love making clothes for Barbie. And then we used to go to the swap meet and there was a lady there that made custom dresses for barbie so my mom would occasionally buy me one and i'd be so excited like the fancy like dresses with like the sequins and stuff it was always fun so i always love barbie so i hope you guys like this one it's not an actual barbie but it's you know, barbie themed and pink and pretty and i figured you know what i have a couple of those little speakers left let me go ahead and make a little gift for you guys so i hope you guys really like that one it's pretty awesome well we, that one will be coming up next but don't forget to congratulate last week's winner and don't worry we have a ton of gifts coming up soon i'm just trying to spread them out <laughs> i have some great stuff that my subscribers sent me and i'm definitely trying to spread it out and i told them about it so they're okay with it um next thing i had i wanted to show you guys was the permanent markers i bought another two pack because my bike nights are starting up again and um we do like the dollar bucket game i know don't come for me so what they do is they write their name on the dollar and then if they pull their name from the dollar and they smell like permanent markers so they look like they pull their name from the dollar they win everything in the bucket so we always have markers and then we have a girl walking around saying dollar bucket so i need to grab more of those because bike nights will be starting back up in i believe we're going to start back up in april i would love to do march but i think march is just going to be a little too difficult for me because we have easter and i'm gonna have easter events and stuff and it's just gonna be too hard to do a bike night and easter events and i have easters in march this year it's a little weird i'm so used to it being in april but it's actually in march this year so it's a little different okay so i grabbed those markers and then i have this bag here to show you guys um okay grab this because it was a request from my good friend um the scalp massager now this is really good to promote hair growth you're supposed to massage in your scalp while shampooing conditioning or moisturizing therapeutic bristles stimulate scalp for promoting healthy hair you can use it wet or dry i usually use mine when i'm doing my conditioning treatment i just condition it condition my hair really good and then i use my little um scalp massager and that helps with you know revitalizing the cuticles and just moisturizing your scalp and just it just works i love it so and um uh, one of my favorite things so i'm glad that the dollar tree had them i'd never seen them before at the dollar trees I usually get mine at sally's and at sally's are like five bucks so i'm like a buck 25 uh oh, and i literally just bought one so i was kind of bummed um next thing i bought was i bought another one of my favorite mascaras which is the long lasting eyeliner this is by le messier i wear this daily like i love eyeliner i always accept larger eyes and when you put eyeliner on top of the um on top of the lid and makes your eyes look smaller so because <laughs> i always i have big eyes so um yeah i bought another one of these i love that and then i ended up buying like three more of these well actually four these are the keep going wet and wild um waterproof sweat proof eyeshadow i thought this would be really cute to add to subscriber gifts and then i'm also going to add a couple in my raffle baskets so i grabbed four i grabbed some in the my previous haul it's a great deal for a buck 25 it's by wet and wild so i grabbed some of these and then i also found one lonely and i love this mascara i actually just threw away about this one um be batty mascara i don't know who it's by oh it's by city color 
a buck 25. I love this. It works really, really well. And I'm not picky picky with mascara, but I don't, you know, I don't like to reapply or anything. And I don't like when mascara runs. Oh no, I hope I can find it. Here it is. I don't like when mascara runs and it's dropping. There we go. So I grabbed that because I really enjoyed it. I actually just threw my last one away and I was like, yes, I found one. Okay, I also grabbed a canola nonstick cooking spray. I use this quite a bit. So I grabbed one of those. And then the honey, when I saw it again, I was like, I need to buy this because honey is so expensive. And there's a couple of recipes I thought in, I found in my Crock-Pot cookbook that I bought from Savers that I thought would be amazing to try out in. So it expires 1019 of 2025, 100% pure honey, premium, all natural, no artificial colors, direct from the hive, you get six ounces. So I bought two of these and I thought, oh my gosh, an amazing deal for buck 25. It's great to have if you have a recipe. I don't, it's not like I eat honey quite a bit, but we do eat it on occasion. My, my husband actually loves honey. So I grabbed two of those. I also wanted to put this in, it's, you guys probably saw this already, but it's in today's subscriber gifts, the Sparkle Peach Glitter Lip Balm, Cheeky and Peachy. This one is in Sparkle Peach, Magically Tints Lips, Pink. <laughs> this one hydrates and nourishing, and I love that it has like a little glitter to it. Isn't that pretty? So I grabbed that one. And you guys know that is in today's. Um, my favorite shaving cream. This is compared to the EOS shaving cream. Bath and Beauty Advanced Smooth Glide Formula Moisturizes and Nourishes Flawless Shave Cream. This one is in raspberry, formulated with shea butter, aloe vera, avena, sativa, oat extract, and vitamin E for skin conditioning. It is paraben free. I've used the blue one. I've never tried the pink one. I know it has a scent, but they didn't have the blue one. And I figured I'm going to give it a shot. Um, it did not irritate my skin, the blue one, and that blue one did kind of have a little bit of a scent, so we'll see. And if I shave, if I use it on my legs and I break out in a rash, then I'll just throw it away because I mainly I'm wearing pants now because it's so cold. So I grabbed that, praying it doesn't break me out. Um, I do love this carpet deodorizer, the 100% sustainable ingredients. It's scratch and sniff, and it is pet friendly. This one is an island mist. They haven't had this in a while, so I went and grabbed another one of these. I love this. I usually, I try to vacuum the floor every other day because I have pets and stuff, but I don't use this. I probably use this once a week. So I grabbed that. And then I also grabbed, and I tried this out. I hauled it, I think, a couple weeks ago. The LA's Totally Awesome Power Oxygen Base Cleaner, chlorine-free, sans chlorine. It works really, really well. I tried it on, I cleaned the, um, these thingies. <laughs> what are they called? Um, curtains. I cleaned the curtains. We have like the sheer curtain, and I have, my dogs love to look out the window, and there's paw prints everywhere, so I took them down. I was going to just throw them away and I was like, I was like, don't throw them away. See if you can wash them. So I washed them and I tried this and it worked really well. So I grabbed another one. This one is 15 ounces and it works really well. So guys, if you want to try this on your whites or maybe something that's a little bit harder stained because mine had like doggy paw prints on it and all kinds of stuff came out perfectly. And then the last thing I got was an LA's totally awesome bleach and lemon scented. Um, I just for my whites. I don't really use bleach that often. That's why I don't buy the Clorox, but once in a while I will use it for my husband's whites, especially if it goes out on the field. He definitely, definitely needs to use that. And guys, that is everything that I got at the Dollar Tree. Quite a large haul, but we have an amazing subscriber gift for you guys. So I hope you guys are super excited about this one. I'm going to turn this camera around and then I'm going to show you the items and then I'm going to let you guys know how you can enter. So let's get into it. So if you saw that sneak peek, you know this is this week's subscriber gift. I hope you guys really like this one. This one is up for grabs. We're going to go over the items and then I'll let you guys know how you can enter. So over here we have the Gel Beads Eye Mask by Be Pure. I have here this amazing Wet n Wild eyeshadow palette. It's so pretty. Look at those beautiful colors. I have the mini pedicure kit by Modessa, the 730 Valentine nail polish, as well as this L'Oreal dual nail polish. So this is step two and step one. Beautiful um, peachy color and then a clear top coat for the top. 
I have here the High Shine Lip Gloss by Beauty Intuition. The Hard Candy Translucent Loose Powder in 1385. I have here the NYX Matte Lipstick as well as Dreams Do Come True Beautiful Pink Matte Lipstick. I have here a two-pack of the Watermelon Burt's Bees for you guys. And then up here I have this awesome faux Starbucks cup. Isn't that beautiful? Love the iridescent pink on that. I have a Barbie Bluetooth speaker with keychain. Isn't that adorable? And then I have Burt's Bees Calming Sheet Mask in Rose and Burt's Bees Hydrating Sheet Mask in Watermelon. We also have the Revlon um, Barbie Revolution, or I'm sorry, Revlon X Barbie nail files for you guys to play around with. And then I also have the Body Fantasies Lovely Scents. So this one includes Japanese Cherry Blossom, Sweet Sunrise, and Vanilla Kiss. Do we get three 1.7 fluid ounces of fine fragrance body sprays for you guys? I have the, this beautiful bracelet for you guys. Love it. Has a little faux diamonds on it. Isn't that pretty? And then the Bath & Body Works Sunshine Mimosa 24-Hour Moisturizing Lotion. I have here some brushes and eyes, lip, face, the foundation brush, the stipple bus, and the blending brush. And then to put all of your wonderful cosmetics, I'm including this from the Dollar Trees, the face, eyes, and lips little holder. And then finally, the Beauty Intuition Rosy Nudes eyeshadow palette for you guys to play around with. All right, let's go ahead and go over the rules. That is everything in this week's gift. So if you would like to enter to win, one, you must be subscribed to my channel. Two, you need to like this video. Three, this contest is open to anybody with a Dollar Tree near them. Just keep in mind, Dollar Tree does need to be in your state and region. You do need to be over the age of 18 to enter and over the age of 18 to claim your prize. If you could please share this video. No, you don't have to blast it on any Facebook groups or anything like that. You can simply copy the link text or email it to a friend that would love to see all of the amazing items I found at Dollar Tree this week, as well as enter for this awesome prize. And my final rule for this amazing gift, please post a comment and put hashtag Dollar Tree Haul. That is all one word. Hashtag Dollar Tree Haul, all one word. And let me know now that Valentine's Day is almost over and we are going to be hitting spring Easter. Let me know, do you guys do the spring cleaning, winter cleaning? Do you do it by seasons or are you just constantly cleaning? Or is this just like when you hear spring cleaning, that means like everything gets taken out. You do the floors, you do the carpets, you do the, you know, everything that needs to be done for the entrance of spring. Do you do the spring cleaning or do you just do like thorough cleanings like once a week. I'm curious because <laughs> I'm getting into spring cleaning mode. I'm starting to do baseboards and washboards and all the stuff underneath the refrigerator and all that good stuff. But I'm like, should I be doing this more often? So I would like to know by you guys, how often do you do that massive like spring clean? I'm talking baseboards. I'm talking, you know, underneath the uh, washing machine, underneath the fridge, like um, underneath the stove, like how often do you do those thorough, thorough, I'm talking like head to toe, washing the walls, everything's cleaning. I mean, I wish I had more time. I would probably do it once a month, but when spring comes, that is when I'm just like, nope, everything has to come out. Got to do the carpets, got to do the floors, got to do it. So let me know, post a comment. I'm not saying I don't clean guys, but I'm talking like, you know, when you go crazy cleaning, crazy, crazy person cleaning. I'm talking that kind of cleaning. So let me know how often you do that. So then I can see if I am on track or I need to step up my game. Let me know, post a comment and put that hashtag Dollar Tree Hall. And that is it. You are entered to win. I'm super curious about this. So I'm excited to start reading your guys's comments because I think I'm dropping the ball, but I'll see. And that's it. You are entered to win. Now, I will announce the winner on my next Dollar Tree haul. So easy to enter, guys. So please make sure you follow the rules. Incomplete entries like I want to win or enter me will not be valid. So make sure you do follow the rules. And don't forget to check out my other amazing subscriber prizes I have available for you. Every Wednesday, we have a Dollar Tree shop with me. And every Wednesday, there is always an amazing subscriber prize for you. So don't forget to check that video out. I'll link that at the end of the video. And check out my 100K subscriber appreciation gift. It's up for grabs. Still going. 
We're going to announce a winner soon, so make sure you check that video out and enter. Don't miss out on that gift. It is over $1,200 in merchandise. I hope you guys are having a fabulous, blessed day. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my videos. And remember, if you like these videos, please remember to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode. And I, I'm going to be talking to you guys real, real soon. You guys stay blessed. Thank you so much for your love and support. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.